Good morning, Toddler Tennis. Welcome to our first outdoor, in your home, Toddler Tennis. Now, have you got your racket? Have you got your tennis ball? Now, if we haven't got a tennis ball, that's okay. We can use a pair of socks. Or we can use, where is it? Aha, cotton wool. Yes, we can use cotton wool for our tennis. Or we can use tin foil. And I've created my magic balls. Or we could even use an egg. An egg? Don't use an egg. Should we get on with our warm up? Okay then, let's go. Morning, have you been given your tennis, tennis ball and your racket by mummies and daddies? Excellent. So why don't you just go and play? All right, I'm gonna practice. I know what I'll do. I'm gonna practice my forehand. Oh, I might practice my volley. All right, here we go, volley. Oh, ah, it's moving too much. Oh, good hit. Oh, I might practice my backhand now, here we go. Whoa, what a shot. Oh, I'll go over to this one, my other tennis ball. I know. I'm going to get my other tennis racket. Here it is. All right, let's go. I'm going to do my serve. Ready? I'm going to go a little bit lower. Oh, okay. Oh, big backhand there. Oh, get it stopped. So remember, with your magic ball when you arrive. Get your parents to hold it the correct way. Remember, they need to be. Can you remember? That's right, in their scarecrow position. Fantastic. All right, here we go. That's my volley. Oh, that was a good volley. Stop that traffic. All right. Do you think it's time that we get all the balls in? I think so. And then we can do our warm up. Come on then, let's collect up all our tennis balls. Quick, let's find them. Found one! Quick, let's put it on our racket. Oh, oh found another one. Let's put it on the racket. Found another one on the racket. Found another one. Oh, I'm gonna put this one on the cone. In fact, I'm gonna put them all on the cones. Here we go, keep your heads up. That's good. All right, pair of socks. Oh, I'll go and put those away as well. And need to get my racket out of the way. Woo. All right, so, oh, what did I forget? I forgot to put my magic ball, tennis balls away. Let's move them out of the way. Here we go, move those out of the way. Get my seat. Okay. Whew. How was that? So you've arrived at your class and you've had a little practice. We've now put our tennis balls away. I think I might have a quick drink. Excellent. So, who have we got today? So my name is Coach Gary. Can you say hello, Coach Gary? Hello! Who else have we got? Can you tell me your name? Can't quite hear you. Shout louder, what's your name? <gasps> hello, Chris, welcome. Hello, Tabitha, hello. Oh, a little bit louder. Hello, Ben. Uh, hello, Jessica. Now, if I didn't say hello to you, don't worry. We know you're watching. Maybe send us who is going to be watching this. So get your mummies and daddies to send us an email and we can say hello properly to everybody. 
So who's ready to warm up? Well, we know that there is a rat. Do you know our name for our rat? That's right, it's Rita the Rat. And Rita is so reactive, so fast, scurrying around. She's off to the allotment. She keeps scurrying around. So who thinks that they can be like Rita the Rat? Shall we give it a go? All right, so for this activity, we need our parents to help us out. And they're going to st stand like a scarecrow. Let's go and show you. So parents, if we're using a balloon, they need to stand with their arm nice and straight, their feet together, and when they drop it, your child is going to try and catch it. Or if they can't catch it, they can hit it back. So remember, should we give that a go? So we're going to drop the ball and try and catch it. So remember, when you step, you're going to step across and you're going to try and catch it. Okay, are we ready? And parents, drop. Oh, I didn't catch it, but that's okay. I'll try it with my tennis ball. So if you're using a tennis ball, same thing, straight arm. And then I'm going to try and step across and try and catch it. So you ready? And step. Now, if I can catch it before it bounces, brilliant. Can you do that? Remember, here it comes. Oh, catch it. We're really good. Ready? Oh, catch it. So remember, we're out in front. Now, if you want to make it even harder, what you do is your mummies and daddies can stand a little bit further away from you. Ready and oh wow I was quick. How are you getting on? You're doing really well, fantastic. I keep going, here we go. So with quicker reactions, we wanna be like Rita. I'm ready. What does our frog say? Ready, Freddy! Oh I caught it with one hand that time. Fantastic. Here we go. Oh no, I've lost the tennis ball. Back in a minute to go and find it. Found it. Whew. How's our warming up going with our tennis ball and our volleys? Okay, we're not quite there ready for the volleys yet, but that, but the skill that you are doing is being really reactive is really good for our volleys, which we're going to do a little bit later. Shall we have a breather? Excellent. Shall we go and find our water bottles? Quick drink then. Boom. Shall we get our rackets? Okay, go and get your racket. Have you found it? Fantastic. Whether you've got a proper tennis racket or one that you made. Remember, if you want to know how to make it, get your parents to have a look at the other video clip. It shows you how to make all these fantastic resources we're gonna need for our tennis. All right. Can anybody remember what this is called? Little clue, squash my nose. That's right, it's the face. Can anybody remember? what this part of the racket is called. Little clue. It's brilliant, that's it, it's your throat. And what part of the racket is this? Fantastic. It's the grip or the handle. Uh, oh, what about the bottom of the racket? Fantastic, that's right, it's the but it's the butt of the racket. Superb. Can we put the butt of the racket on our nose and end up with a big nose? Excellent. Can we put the racket on our head? 
Can we put the face on our face? Can we put our racket face on our shoulder? That's it. And scratch your back. Itchy back. What about let's put our handle or our grip on our... That's right, our elbow. Fantastic. Who's ready for the next activity? You are. We need to get our magic ball. Have you made your magic ball yet? No. Go and, act, go and collect it and let's see if we can find our magic ball. And we're going to do our first tennis shot of April. So, let's go. Ooh, almost got hit by the ball there. All right. So, what's our character for our volley? Can you remember? That's right, it's Vinny. Should we say hello, Vinny? Hello, Vinny. Should we go and, should we have a quick listen to what Vinny's going to say? Come on then. Let's see if we can do the rhyme together. Whack it to the traffic. Lolly bop up. Stop the car. Or we all go. Ah! Welcome back. Oh, Rita the Rat has been really naughty. She keeps crossing the road. Oh my word, what's going to happen if she keeps crossing the road without looking? It's going to be dangerous. All right, so what we need, we need a lollipop. I got my lollipop. Have you got yours? Fantastic. So we need a lollipop man. Shall we go and get Vinny? All right, we're going to be Vinny and we want to stop Rita from crossing the road. So we've got our racket and racket to the traffic. Lollipop up. Stop the car. Otherwise we all go. Ah! I'll do it sideways on as well. Here we go. Rack it to the traffic. Lollipop up. Stop the car. Or we all go. Ah! Should we do that with the magic ball? Come on then. Remember what we said. Lollipop up. Stop the traffic. Otherwise we go. Here we go. Keep practicing. You're practicing with your parent. So remember parents, this one's for you. When you're holding the magic ball, make sure that the ball is between your shoulder and your waist. So you can hold it out to the side there. So a little bit lower. So that tennis ball, whether you're using this or my magic, other magic ball that I've made, must be between shoulder and waist when they're hitting. Ready, here we go. I'll do it sideways on this time. So you can see, a lollipop up. Stop the car. Otherwise, all we go. Ah! I'm gonna do it this way as well. Here we go. Lollipop up. Stop. Yay! How are you getting on, everybody? I'm going to just keep practicing. Stop. We go. Now, remember, magic ball. The magic ball could be our balloon. So, if we're throwing this to them, okay, exactly the same. Throw it. Oh, no, the balloon's run away. I've lost my balloon. It's gone over the fence. I'll be back in a minute. I need to go and get another balloon. While I'm away, you keep practicing. Whack it to the traffic. Lolly bop up. Stop the car. Or we all go. Ah!
Whack it to the traffic. Lollipop up. Stop the car. Or we all go. Ah! I found another balloon. My other balloon went over the fence. I know. You're all laughing away there. Have you been practising though? You have. Fantastic. So let, let's remember what we do. Here we go. So it's there. We're going to stop the traffic. Stop the traffic. Or we go. Ah. So as I was saying before my balloon flew away, we can use our balloon and we can be further away. If we're using a tennis ball, the parents have to throw the ball gently towards the child. And then that way, here we go, slide towards, and then we stop the traffic. Let's go again. Here we go, so we're gently throwing it towards, stop the traffic. So whether you use the magic ball, or if you're getting even better, you can throw the balloon or the tennis ball. Do what you think is right for your child, okay? We want to obviously push you a little bit further. So if you move on to a proper tennis ball or our Tim Ford tennis ball, then great even with a pair of socks. Okay, right. Have you been practicing really hard with that first shot? What was our character's name? That's right, Vinny the Viper. I think it's time to have another quick drink. See you in a minute. Did you have a good drink? Fantastic. All right, here we go then. Who remembers our characters so far? That's right, we've got Rita the react, Rita the rat, who's got quick reactions. We've got Vinny the Viper, our lollipop man. We've got one more, and that is Holly the hare. So Holly the hare, really clever she is. She does what we call a split step, and a split step is our legs jump to the side. And that gets us ready. So we practice. Come on then. So we're going to step and split. Ready? We're going to step and split. Ready? Split. Try one more time. Here we go. Step. Split. Fantastic. That was brilliant. So we've got our split step. We're going to have a game where we need a tennis net. Now, I know most of you can't get out to the tennis courts, but we can bring a tennis net to our gardens or we can do it inside. So again, parents, there's another video to show you how we do tennis inside with a tennis net. And you can check that out. Here's my tennis net. That's right, it's a chair. Sun's out, I'm relaxing. What do you mean I need to keep going? Okay then. Right, are we ready for our volleys? Here we go then. So the game is, your mums and dads are gonna throw the ball or throw the balloon or throw the socks over the net. You don't want to use a net, you don't have to. You can practice this without doing those. And the game is as follows. We have to do split. We're going to throw the ball. And then we're going to stop the traffic and hit a volley. Here we go then. And split. Ball comes in. Stop! Let me go and get my tennis ball. Here we go then. So parents, ready? Throw the ball up. Oh, I forgot. We need to do our split. Thanks for reminding me. And ready? Split. Lollipop up. Stop. When the ball comes in, stop. 
keep practicing. I'm going to go and get my tennis ball. So again, if we haven't got the net, I can use my racket. I'm going to just move the chair out of the way, which is my net. So remember, ready for that split and split. Lollipop up. Stop the car, otherwise you go. Ah! Ready again. Split. Lollipop up. Stop traffic. We go. Ah! All right. Keep practicing those. And what do we do? That's right, split. What's next? <gasps> Lollipop up. Stop the traffic. Now we can make it harder by starting further back. So when your mummies and daddies say split, that's when you do your split step. Ready, I'm gonna run in, split. Lollipop up. Stop the traffic. Fantastic. Gonna try that one again. Go! Running forward. Split. Lollipop up. Oh, we're getting good at this. Keep going. Go! Split. Lollipop up. Stop the traffic. Where's we go? Ah! Go again. Can we go fast this time? Here we go. Run. Split. Stop. That was amazing. Keep going. You're doing fantastically well. So keep running towards that ball. Split step. When your mummies and daddies say split. Don't forget, lollipop up. And that's right, stop that traffic. And again, we don't. if we're doing tennis indoors, we don't need to use a tennis racket. We can do all our tennis shots with a hand. Stop the traffic. Oh, the ball went through my hand. That was clever, wasn't it? Here we go. So we can do our split. Use our hand, hit the ball make sure we finish with that straight arm when we're doing it straight arm okay so we don't want to see our face we want it slightly to the side and we're gonna stop can you see the ball behind the ball we want it right in the middle of the face of the racket that's fantastic really good we're stopping that traffic Wow, that was brilliant. I think it's time to have another drink while we remind ourselves of what Vinny the Viper says. Come on then. Whack it to the traffic. Lollipop up. Stop the car. Or we all go. Ah! Did you have a good drink? All right. Who wants to win some points now? You do! Fantastic! Let's see if we can get some points. Right, we're going to go on a little journey. Are you ready? So you've got to imagine that you're going out for your daily walk. Just to keep, those, keep us out nice and healthy. And we're going to head into the streets. Let's go down the streets. And we're going to go and check out the allotments. Why the allotments? Well, there's lots of vegetables and fruit down at the allotments and we want to stop Rita from getting getting them. So we need to get those vegetables into a bucket. Here's my sock. That's my tennis ball. We need to try and get it into our bucket. Now, if you don't have a bucket and you've got hoops, you've got hoops. We can make some hoops from just a piece of string um, or we can use some cones or what I'm going to use is I'm going to use chairs as my target all right so these are how we get points 
Have you got your racket? Got mine. So we need our tennis ball. Let's see if I can find my tennis ball. Remember your tennis ball can be the balloon or it also can be the magic ball. So remember you choose, mummies and daddies can help you choose which one you think is right for you. Remember, maybe start off with the balloon. Week two, we can then move to a bigger ball and then we can move to a proper tennis ball. But remember, you're at home, so you might not have that tennis ball, that tin foil, the cotton wool. We can use anything. That's the great thing about this. All right. Who thinks I talk too much? I agree. Let's get on with our points. So remember our split step like Holly the Hare. Remember, we got to be reactive like Rita the Rat. And remember our last character? That's right, it's Finny with his volleys. We're going to try and get points. So, we get one point if we hit the ball. Fantastic. We get ten points if we get it over the net. If we haven't got a net, you get ten points if you get it close to the net or close to your target. And we get 20 points if we hit our target. Okay, our target is our bucket. Can we even try and get it into the bucket? I'm going to try and put the bucket. I've got two targets. I'm going to use the chair as my target. Here we go. So remember that split. Lollipop up. Oh, I hit the chair. That means I get 20 points. Uh, I hit the ball, but it didn't go in the target. So that means I get one point. I'm going to have a go with the socks. Here we go. It's in the bucket. I got it. Just to prove it. I got it in the bucket. How many points shall I get for that one? 50 points. How many points are you going to get? Ready? Remember that? Split step, lollipop up, stop the cars, or we all go, ah! here we go, another 20 points, how many points are you getting, sorry I can't hear you, how many points, a thousand, who said a thousand, Mark are you cheating? You're not. Oh, okay then. So you got a thousand. Right, okay. Come on then, let's keep going, see how many points we can get. Alright. I'm gonna do it towards you this time so you can see. Remember that split. Lollipop up. Stop traffic. Or we all go. Ah! I'm not gonna hit the ball towards my com computer. Don't want to damage it. Otherwise we won't be able to do any more videos. Here we go then. Running, spit, lollipop up, stop the traffic. Or we all, how many points am I gonna get this time? Oh, 20 points. Right, I'm gonna attempt the balloon. Hopefully we won't lose that over the fence again. Here we go. Oh, 20 points with the balloon. So parents, when you're either holding the magic ball, So if I take the magic ball off, keep practicing though. So if I do this left-handed, so if you're holding the ball, okay, and your child is right-handed, hold it in your right hand. So I'm doing this left-handed at the moment just to show you. You can hold the string and they can stop the ball and you let go of the, str the string as they're hitting the ball. So you ready? Remember that. Split step, lollipop up, stop traffic, 20 points. Here we go again. So hold the string loosely. I almost forgot my split step, split. Remember that holding that ball between the shoulder and waist. 
Oh, I got one point that time. So for this one, I'll do towards you, ready? It's tricky trying to do it on your own. Fortunately, you've got mummies and daddies that can help you. Here we go. And stop, <gasps> towards. I wonder if I can get, can I get at the top of the traffic? I'm not using the tennis ball, let's see if I... Oh, it made the computer go. Now, one common thing that might happen is, children do that. Now, if you do that, the ball goes down. We need the ball to go up and over the net. So that's why it's really important, parents, to be watching to make sure that they hold the racket face up. I know, so if I do it this way, we don't want that to happen. If that happens, the ball will go into the net. You are doing brilliantly. Right, how many points are you all on? So, Mark, how many points are you on this time? A thousand and one. All right. And what about you, Adam? How many are you on? Fifty. Brilliant. Sounds a bit more honest. What about you, Rebecca? Rebecca, 150 points. Amazing. Oh, hang on. Shh. Coach Sean, oh, you, you only got two points. Really, Coach Sean? Have you not been practicing at home? We need to go and get our practice at home books. Come on, let's go and get them. So toddlers, have you got your practice at home books? Brilliant, you have, excellent. All right, so. That's our character that we were using today, Vinny the Viper. Can you remember what Vinny says? Let me have a look on the back, cause it tells me how to do it. Rack it to the traffic, lollipop up, stop the car, or we all go, ah! You have done brilliantly well today, so impressed. Shall we have a look at which ones we can tick? All right, let's have a look at passion. Did you listen to your coach? Are you listening to me today? You were. All right then. So maybe get mummies to tick or daddies to tick which one we think. All right. Let's have a look. Um, name parts of the racket. We did that, didn't we? We, if you can name all the different parts of your racket, you can get that ticked. Now today we did the movement, which was Rita the Rat. So remember, if this is your first time that you did it, we parents can possibly tick by myself. Okay, because it's first week. So we did Rita the Rat for her reactions. On footwork, so I know it's a little bit backwards. That's how videos work. So videos, we did Holly the Hair, and it was called the Split Step. And then we did our volley with Vinny the Viper. All right, so we've got the key things, Eastern grip, racket high, lollipop position, stopping the traffic, and step and snap. So those are the key skills that we've been looking today. So how, how do you do? Why don't you send us in some of your videos of you doing your tennis shots? So send them in to info at sportforkids.biz or you can go onto the Facebook page, Sport for Kids. Share, we want to see your tennis. All right, share what you've been doing. And you can even have a tennis match with your mums and dads. And even the parents can have a go at playing tennis themselves. I wonder who will win. We want to see those videos, so send them through. What a fantastic first lesson. So we'll see you next week for week two. And some of the challenges will be uh, similar games. All right? But if you remember, we're going to be using tennis balls and making it harder.
So well done. See you later.